I'm bored too. I mean, look at our lives. It's become so monotonous. Let's do something. Well, like what, sweetie? I, I don't know. Something new. Something dangerous. Well, we could play cribbage. No, we did that last night. We could watch that Ingmar Bergman film. Something exciting. Well, we could have a menage a trois. A what? A threesome. <gasps> That's a wonderful idea, honey! Hello, Denise? What are you and Carl up to tonight? Well, Jack and I were wondering if you might be interested in coming over for a, what should we call it, a foursome or a sex party? Ooh, sex party, it's more festive. Okay. Oh, if you'd be interested in a sex party tonight. Oh, you gotta get up early tomorrow and take the kids to school. Jack and I are planning an old fashioned orgy for tonight, so if uh, you get this message, be sure to call us back anytime before 11, we'll be up. Okay, uh, uh, thanks Jeff and Cindy. Oh, don't forget to tell them about the spinach dip. Oh, your in-laws are in town. Really, off the poco? <laughs> that sounds fun. <sighs> Any luck? I'm sorry, honey. Everyone's busy or out of town. I just don't think our little sex party's gonna happen tonight. No, I worked too long and hard on all this. You're right. Let's keep trying. Oh, how about that one, sweetie? Hey, uh, hey. The one in the red or the one adjusting her crotch? The one adjusting your crotch. No. no. Your honey, you're gonna have to be less selective. We're gonna run out of whores soon. Oh, what about her? Oh, yeah, she'd be perfect. <laughs> Hello, miss. My wife and I were wondering if you were available this evening or if uh, someone has scheduled your time. How much you got? How much I got? She's asking how much money do you have? Oh, yes, of course. I have about 200 American dollars. You got yourself a party. Oh, Aww, thank, thank you. you. Let's go ahead and hop in the back seat. Make yourself comfortable. All right. <laughs> what about that one, honey? No, too jittery. Ooh, what about him? Oh, yes, he's quite the Adonis, if I say so myself. Oh, me too. What do you think, Crystal? I'll let anything stick me as long as you're paying me. Sounds like a ring endorsement to me. Hello, kind sir. Me, my wife, and my whore were just wondering if you're available this evening for some horizontal mumbo. What? Or, as the ancient Greeks say, an orgy. Uh, oh, 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 we have 200 American dollars. Oh, yes. Thank you, honey. Yeah, whatever. That's just swell. Okay, I unlocked the back. Go ahead and get in. Well, looks like we're all set. You know, I have a feeling we're going to have the time of our lives tonight. Here, here. Well, buckle up, everyone. And I hope you like spinach dip. Go. You know, the trick to a good martini is to add a fourth of an ounce of onion juice. It just really brings out the flavor of the vodka. Yeah. Oh, you guys haven't had any spinach dip yet. More than enough to go around. Uh. Oh, you should play that new record you got. Oh, yeah, um, there's this thrift store downtown in this absolutely amazing vinyl section. And I picked up this 1920s jazz record and you can just hear the history. Oh, he has got such a good eye for these type of finds. He's amazing at it. You guys are in for a real treat. You know, I just love Louis Armstrong and Jelly Roll Martin. Is it that whole era of jazz? You know, the interesting thing is, is that when they used to record these records, they'd have everyone sit around this giant megaphone and record directly onto the wax. I mean, oh, you know what? You gotta stop it because I can just keep going on and on. <laughs> he does, he really does. <sighs> Oh, honey, why don't you show them the thing that you're working on for my niece? Oh, no. Yeah, come on, bring oh, it out. Bring God. it out. All right. <laughs> my wife is a regular Betsy Ross. Oh, you stop She is it. such a good knitter. It's a little scarf I've been working on. You can, um, you can see it's just it's a basic knit and purl alternating pattern. Um, but her favorite color is peach, so I thought this mustard went just delightful with it. It was just this real fuzzy material. I thought it was just so cute. Honey, you know what I was thinking? Is maybe you could knit something for them. Because you guys walk the streets and it gets pretty cold. Uh, maybe she could knit you a scarf? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, what's your favorite color? Black. Oh, that's 
nice. You know, I bet I could find something at the craft store, maybe in a charcoal or mm -hmm. an asphalt. Yeah, some nice yarn. Honey, did you pick up the prophylactics? Remember the last time we were at Costco, I got that big box when we got the kitty litter? Oh, that's right, the pleasure pack. Yeah. So, Thor. Uh, that's an interesting name. Uh, are you a fan of Norse mythology? No, it's either that or Thunder Dick. Okay. Uh, oh, Crystal, you said you were um, in school? Yeah. I'm taking online courses at a community college. Oh, well, that is swell. Uh, what's your major? <laughs> Criminal justice. Mm. How ironic. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, Jack and I are still in school. I'm a counselor at Queen Anne Elementary, and Jack is an adjunct professor of philosophy at USC with an emphasis on metaphysics and ethics. You know, it's interesting. I did my thesis on Frederick Nietzsche. Oh my gosh, is that crack? Can I not smoke in here? Oh no, that's fine, sweetie. You're a guest in our home. You know, back in college, me and Sally used to smoke a little bit of the Mary Jane. We called it Magic Dragon. <laughs> so we're not uh, strangers to the recreational drug. You want some? Crack? Sure, I mean, well, let me check with my wife. Oh, you go right on ahead. Sure, bring that <laughs> pipe over. You know, Epicurus always did say to maximize pleasure and minimize pain, mm -hmm. so... Oh, is that a gas valve? That's quite ingenious. Yeah. Wonder who that could be this time of night. Maybe it's Jeff and Cindy that got the voicemail. Ooh. <laughs> They're really nice. They live just down the street. Hello? I'm looking for Thor and Crystal. Are they here? Uh, who may I ask is inquiring? Name is Big Daddy, and Big Daddy is big time angry. Oh, alrighty then. Uh, if I could just have you hang tight out here on the patio, I'll be right with you in a minute. Um, Thor, Crystal, there is a gentleman asking about you outside who uh, goes by the name of Big Daddy. Oh, God! Not Big Daddy! He's found us! I'm sorry, who's Big Daddy? It's our pimp! He's a monster who used to beat us and take all our money. Tell him we're not here! Now, you kids, if you never face your problems, you're not gonna have the strength to solve them. I'm sure that if we invite Mr. Big Daddy in, we can resolve this dispute like adults. Okay. Why don't we just go ahead and funnel out to the back window? Where are my bitches? Stay away, Big Daddy! What's your Big Daddy? Bitch, you're always a big daddy bitch. No, I'm not gonna stand for this anymore. You don't own me. You're just a man. You're just flesh and blood, just like anybody else. Bitch! Oh, God! I guess I'm gonna have to teach you some magic. Let's see. I'm gonna have to take one of your eyes. What, the left one or the right one? No, you don't. No, I guess I have to take both of them. Now, now, big daddy, I know that you're angry and that you feel that you've been wronged in some way by Thor, but I think if we just sit down, have some spinach dip, and talk about this in an open and safe conversation, I think we can resolve this dispute peacefully. Is that oven roasted? It sure is. I just think that you would get a bit more out of us if you use positive reinforcement rather than negative reinforcement. And I don't think that you should get 75% of the cut. It seems a little unreasonable. Oh, come on. Now, Big Daddy, you can talk when you have the monkey. Please continue, Crystal. And I don't think that I should have to buy my own condoms. I think it should come from a community budget. And I think there should be less beatings. Thank you for expressing yourself, Crystal. Now, please pass the monkey on to Thor. Go on. I think there should be fewer beatings, too. You should treat us like human beings. or a big family. We're all just trying to survive. Very well put, Thunderdick. Sorry, Thor. Um, will you please pass the monkey on to Big Daddy? <laughs> Big Daddy, is there anything you'd like to say to Crystal and Thor? Well, I never knew you guys wanted to be a family. I never had a family growing up. My mother died of a heroin overdose when I was three. I didn't know my father. Ever since I've been on the streets trying to get by. Streets taught me how to be tough. Tough as... Tough is the only love I've ever known. You know, I always thought of you guys as my kids, my whole kids. The kids I never knew, the kids I never loved. <laughs> you guys, you don't know how much I love you. Call me daddy. Just call me dad. <laughs> Just call me dad. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Bye. Bye, guys. Drive safe. Have a good night. <laughs> you know, honey, even though we didn't get to have that sex party tonight, I would say tonight was definitely not boring. And I'm glad that we brought a little sunshine to someone's life. You know, as King James says, it's more blessed to give than to receive. Oh. Hello? It's Jeff and Cindy. They want to know if we're still interested in having a sex party tonight. <gasps> oh, fire up the spinach dip! Hey guys, Alan here, sketch comedy artist and sex party enthusiast. Now, if you like what you saw, please push that like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you push the subscribe button. Now, as a sex party enthusiast, I have three awesome tips for you guys. First one is, if you're going to a sex party, make sure you put down the right address. I cannot tell you how many times I walked into the wrong house. Second one, if you're hosting, make sure you have some finger foods for your guests. and. No sticky hard candies. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Third one, if also if you're hosting, put plastic wrap on all your furniture, because trust me again, you will thank me later. Now guys, if you have your own sex party tips of your own, please write them in the comment section down below. We'd love to hear them.